Oh, 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 oh hey everyone and welcome to Ride. I found some nice game called Slay the Spire. So I was thinking about recording some of the action for you guys. I hope you like. You can choose between two different characters. You can choose the ironclad or you can go as the silent. And for this video, I'm gonna go with the silent. Embark. Greetings. Reach the boss to receive my blessing. Leave. Okay, so here you have the map overview. And as you can see, it's a lot of fights before the first boss. The boss is this big guy here. And we are at the bottom and we can choose between one two or three different path and i'm going to go for the middle one let's go okay so this is a card game i have my energy here to the left and i have my cards here in the middle you can't miss them each of the cards in my hand except the one at the right cost one mana, but this one cost only zero. So, and you have the enemy here to the right. And if there's a sword on top of his head, it means he's going to attack me. And he's doing 12 points of damage. What can I do? I can neutralize him. I deal three damage and I apply one weak. I will do that. As you can see, he is now weaker. He will only do 9 points of damage. My defend cards gives me 5 block. I make 2 of these and I have 10 armor. That means he will do 0 damage to me. I will strike him. Strike does 6 damage. And again, he is doing 12 points of damage. He is really aggressive, this guy. What can I do? I can use my card called Survivor. It gives me 8 block, but I have to discard a card. So I do that. And I will just press like this and confirm. I have 2 energy left. I can do 1 defend. I will nullify his attack because I have 13 armor. I do strike him. And he takes 6 damage and now I end my turn. So this turn I'm gonna play very defensively because I don't want to take any points of damage at all. So I'm gonna do 2 defend and 1 strike to his face. Again, 12 points of damage. I do one defend and one survivor and discard, discard and then we attack once and we end our turn. Again, this guy really wants to attack me. I will do this. 9 points of damage. 1, 2, 10 armor. Strike. Next turn if I get 2 strikes, I should kill him. And we got it, so we do 1 and 2 and he is dead my sir. 19 gold, add a card to your deck. So here I can choose between 3 different cards, Bane, Acrobatics, Prepared. Deal 7 damage, if the enemy is poisoned, deal 7 damage again. Acrobatics. Draw three cards, discard a card. Prepared. Draw one card and discard one card. Uh, acrobatics is really good. I'm going for that one. Proceed. So that was the first fight and let's continue. Okay, so we are against two of these mini ones. I don't know what, what they are called, but they are mini ones. And he is doing 7 points of damage to me. 
and what I want to do here is I want to draw three cards actually I don't really need to do it now because I don't have many different cards and strike and defend so let's use the do neutralize on this one the one attacking then only five damage and one defend if I strike once and if I strike twice then he has three HP left and end my turn He buff himself with the strength, he will do 8 points of damage and this one 7. But I do 1, 2, 10 and 1 dead. So I will not take any damage this turn either. So if I attack him with strike, he's going to get 5 armor. But I have to deal damage to him to kill him, so I have to attack him. And since I have two left, one and two, he is dead. 16 gold and one more card. Masterful Stab can only be played if there are no other cards in your hand. Deal 15 damage. Backflip. Gain 5 block, draw 2 cards. Finisher. Deal 6 damage for each attack play this turn. I'm going with backflip. We love to draw cards. Okay, so now we are going to the big question mark here. Let's see. Okay, so it's this guy here. These guys are really annoying. So want to kill them as fast as we can. We can uh, neutralize him first, and uh, we can draw two cards, and five, and we get one five block. I mean five block, and uh, we double strike him. Okay, so we triple strike him for the kill. That was painless. Okay, so we can go with uh, another acrobatics or flying knee. I'm thinking to go with flying knee. Here we can go to the right and then we can uh, go question mark elite mob or we can go straight, straight, straight. Let's go to the right. We want to kill the elite mob because he will give us a relic and uh, if I'm lucky I can get really good relic and it will be very helpful so here uh, he will not do any damage to us so we used to go all out like this and these if they are at 50 or below her, they will split into two enemies 50% of HP I mean And he will not attack, so we will draw two more cards. We can draw, actually we can draw even more here. We can do this one. No, we have to discard first, so flying knee. So now he should uh, split into two. So one of them wants to attack me and the other one doesn't want to do anything. So... Let's do like this. I have six, nine block, strike and strike. Eight points of damage. So 
so now I need to use one defend to not get any damage to me this turn he keeps licking me and lick gives me the debuff frail so I get less block from my cards but now we can kill the, this guy here and we it doesn't matter what we do so we just play our turn so now we want lots of damage here so let's try to draw more damage we are are kind of unlucky here so we just do like this and we end our turn now we can kill him and we can move on I got another item here explosive potion deal 10 damage to all enemies thank you uh, gain 4 block deflect corpse explosion enemy loses all poison deal damage equal to twice the amount lost to all enemies sucker punch deal 7 damage apply 1 weak I, I like corpse explosion but I don't really have so much uh, poison in my deck by now but I'm thinking uh, to go corpse explosion anyways And we go to the question mark and then we kill the elite guy. So now we are against three of the minis. And I got my corpse explosion. I need to have 12 blocks so I will do like this. And then I can deal some damage to the sky. So now I can kill Sally he weakened me so I need to use two cards on one guy that's uh, not the best but I don't want him to live so I will kill him anyway and now I will actually take my first point of damage. As you can see, I have 5 ammo and he deals 6 damage. And turn. So I lost my first HP. Now I want to neutralize this guy. And I want to attack him very. I will actually attack this guy instead and I need only one but I can do two and end turn if I draw flying knee again I can kill this guy very easily but I didn't do it as you can see let's backflip and try to draw it I didn't do it as you can see but we can still kill this guy doing 7 damage here no we can't because I don't know any math I only do 4 damage he has 5 HP that means I will attack this guy instead and I will do like this to not take any damage Okay, so I can kill them both. They are both dead. Let's see what we get. 19 gold. And we got a poison potion. Add a card to your deck. Slice. Deal 5 damage. Dodge and roll. Gain 4 block. Next turn gain 4 block. We want to draw more cards. Proceed. So now we are at the elite monster here and after that I'm gonna end this video. I'm sorry for that.
but I can see you in the next video. Okay, so we are against the Gremlin Knob. He's a very newbie character, so let's just try to draw into a flying knee here. Or neutralize works. And then we use double strike him and we end the turn. As you can see, I am very good at making sounds like the monsters in this game. 14 points of damage and I don't have so much armor. That's not the best for me, so I will try to draw into armor. I shouldn't have done that, because actually... He has this buff here called Enrage. Whenever you play a skill, gain 2 strength. So my cards, you can see, it's called skill, attack, attack. So if I play the skill cards, he actually gains more damage. So I kinda have to let him just deal 16 points of damage to my face. That's not the best, but I have to do it at least once. So this kinda hurts. And again, I can't deal my damage to him, so we have to make him weaker. 12. And I don't want to draw cards. Then he gets more damage, so I will just attack him. Attack him. And I will let him attack my face, I guess, and turn. Uh, this turn is not the best, but we do like this, we do that, and we do one block here. This turn we should be fine. We take zero damage this turn. As you can see, I'm taking lots and lots of damage here. He's doing 30 damage to me and I can't really block it. So what am I doing? I can't do anything. I'm, I used to have to take the damage, I guess. This really sucks. It really sucks. If I can't kill him this turn, I'm actually dead. And, as you can see, I can't kill him this turn. That means I am actually dead. So, I guess, that's the end of the video. This game can be very brutal, as you can see. So, thanks for watching. Bye.